Hello, and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 with the new cars, and apparently the field running away. Yes, the field has run away into the distance, and they're going to do a rolling start, possibly? This is a new one. I don't quite know. There's some messes going on at the corner. Uh, so, there's a Corsa now in GTA 5. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that one either, but here we go. This is this is what we have. Um, apparently, we're going for just a really, really long run up. Yeah, I did. I did see you all run away. Uh, I mean, I guess this means I just start from pole. Sure, that works for me. Uh, <laughs> it's the ah, oh, we're off. <laughs> it's the most unconventional of starts. Uh, <laughs> Why not? These sort of cars normally make for pretty good racing, actually. Uh, apparently, they're not bad. Oh, well, we've managed to crash before the first corner, as is tradition, almost. Uh, but yeah, not massively quick. They are quite oversteery, I will say that. They're quite oversteery, and they spin the front wheels. Of all the front-wheel drive cars in the game, these might have the most kind of wheel spin. Especially when modified, they do get some really crazy upgrades, which is fun. Um, of course, we're just racing the car stock for the sake of this, so everyone has the same car. Oh, we have some really big lag going on. I'm going to have some two-word moments, as did, I believe, oh, Brazen leading the way. Christ, the lag is apparently having none of it today. It's fine. We have made it through at least just about in one piece. Oh, how <laughs> really oversteering. They might, outside of possibly the Mini Classic, that's one of the more difficult cars to drive, uh, this might be one of the most oversteery front-wheel drives there is a surprising amount of fire. Oh, and the leader has lagged out. Maybe that'll quell... Oh, no, 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 ignore that. Maybe it won't quell the awful, awful uh, lag-related shenanigans. I don't know why we're having... Oh, okay, that was a little brave. That was a little... And that was a little... Brave on the outside. It's just about worked. Uh, we're going to go side by side. We're going to get a little bit of an assistance from from Gliska. Oh, we're four wide into turn one in the courses. Perfect. What more could we want? We're now three wide through the next couple of corners. I'm still trying to give Impega, Impega space, but Impega has run out of speed on the outside. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> it's like that you throw it into the corner, you lose the back end, and then you lose three places in that. You cannot afford to... Very, I can't believe I'm saying this. You basically can't afford to get oversteer in your Corsa, otherwise you're going to be in trouble. Oh! Uh, sorry, <laughs> there's been some quite bad teleporting around lag. I knew there was a Liam somewhere, I just hadn't quite seen where it was as everybody then spins the wheels. Um, sure, there's a lot of a lot of wheel spinning going on from these, which is... I thought it was a lot to do with the modified one I had built. I really, I, <laughs> of course, I had to buy a Corsa because people said it had crazy customization, and I thought just because I put all the engine upgrades is why it was spinning the wheels, but no, the standard one does as well. Uh, it isn't cheap, I should add that, either, because in true GTA 5 fashion, the Corsa costs $400,000. It's a little bit less if you do the heist. That's still an awful lot of money for a Corsa. Um, yeah. A little bit too much money for what is not a particularly amazing car. It's fun to have, but shouldn't it shouldn't be that much. So yeah, there is there is that. Um, but GTA economy is wonky as anything. This so far race is going kind of okay to plan for me. We're going to be three wide again in these. Uh, they, as I said, these kind of cars do generally make for some fun, interesting racing. Sorry, Crow. <laughs> I don't want to put you in the wall while being on two wheels, but I've got so little control when doing that. Oh, crap. It's about to get really busy. Uh, yeah, they can still... Oh, Crow, point the right way, please. Uh, they can still get into a smidge of trouble if enough cars end up battering the back of your vehicle. You can still end up spinning. They're not the, oh, they're not the worst for light contact. There's a little too much busyness going on there. And Pega's running away. Guys, we need to stop doing what we always do, fighting over the wrong positions and let the leader run away. Normally it's Nine Tails, although this time, yeah, we've got a different car running away at the front. Uh, I'm going to try and get past Nine Tails, and then we'll have big slipstream run down towards the first corner. This might be where we can catch up to Impega uh, with enough... Yeah, okay, I don't think Impega's far enough. Impega would win on a final lap with that bigger a lead. Oh, don't make it four wide for second. Uh, oh, no, Liam. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. No. Roll over. Roll over, goddammit. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Liam managed to make a mess of that one, and unfortunately I was the poor sod that was stuck on the outside. Nothing I could do about that. Liam got it wrong, clipped the wall. 
initially it was okay. Like, initially it just fired me out wide, but Liam's Carling couldn't stop after bouncing off the wall as well. And, oh, it might have been I've got another tag. I couldn't see. I was busy being stuck in a wall, and then we got rolled over. And that's kind of... That's kind of problematic. Now, what lap are we on? Four out of seven. Might be half a chance. It's only half a chance, and we've got to have a pretty much perfect run. Stevie has stopped, which is not ideal. Don't know what caused that. Uh, <laughs> might be a controller turn off, or maybe we've got more lag going on. Who knows? If we can catch back up to Liam, there might be a chance for some slipstream. And there may also be some shenanigans on this final, these final laps as people are battling for position, trying to make up time. Uh, mistakes can be made, and these are easier to make mistakes with than you might expect. Liam gets a huge bobble over there. I just want to get some slipstream off somebody. Just any slipstream will do. It's a surprisingly clean-looking car behind us. You can tell the battle scars. You can tell that most of the battle scars on mine are on the back. Uh, there are some on the front. A couple of small dings on the front. There's <laughs> a lot on the back. We're going to lose out to Ollie. I'm not going to make that work. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's a weird it's a weird driving car. It's nice, though, that it's a different sort of handling car. It handles unlike anything else really in the game. And that's what I like to see. And it's not completely wonky and weird. It is, di it's not, it, it is different, but it's not entirely broken like some of the weird handling cars that there have been in the game. We are kind of catching back up to the group. We might have a 10-car battle for the lead on the final lap. That's either going to be great for me being further back or terrible. And I haven't decided which one I think it is yet. Uh, come on, get some slipstream, please, off the cars ahead. That would be good. Uh, not too fast through there. Oh, yeah, this is this is, this is is looking like trouble. This is when you see a group of cars and it looks like there's going to be a safety car in a race. Yeah, this is the equivalent of that in GTA V. Uh, something bad is going to happen in this group. I hope maybe being the one at the back might be able to avoid the bad. We've avoided the bad through the first corner, at least. That is something. That was in bigger and someone else getting connected. Uh, I mean, it happened to us a couple of laps ago, so <laughs> glad it's not me this time. Uh, we're going to have some two-wheel from the car ahead, but not going to be able to quite get past. I mean, we're now back up to sixth. Uh, we're going to have to have a little bit of a lift through there. I'm trying not to tag the car ahead of us, but uh, sometimes it just happens. Ewan was leading the way a couple of at the end of last lap, I think, and is now back fighting with us. That's how much it can change. That's how close it is in this group of cars. I've carried too much speed into there. Yeah, you're really going to have to be careful with your sort of entry speed to the corners. You chuck, you chuck these in too much, and they just you lose all of your time. This is all about being smooth with the vehicle. It's very, it's very different to a lot of, certainly the other compact cars. Very, very different sort of driving. Doesn't seem to hate the bumps too much. Uh, it's more the rear end grip isn't there. It's not the weird, horrible bump physics we've seen from some cars. It just doesn't have any rear end grip at the most part. Uh, here we go. We've got a good run down here. Where are we going to go? Uh, <laughs> we're in the middle. I don't want to be in the middle. Oh, Chris is sliding around. Again, I don't really want to punt the front of your car, but there was little in the way of options given in all of that. Uh, we are now up the inside. Can I make this move stick? We're on two wheels, a smidge. I need to get in a slipstream with the cars ahead. If we're going to try and get to, if we want to run for the lead at any point, we can't let this group get too far away because this is our final lap. This is the last chance. We have done well through there. We've actually done really, really well through all of that. Liam goes to the inside. We are a very long way on the inside. I'm going to have to break early though because there's going to be a lot of cars I don't want to plow into on the exit of that corner. And I now have no slipstream buddies out of here. That'll drop me back to fourth. Ewan's too far wide of that corner. Come on, get in the draft, get in the draft. Ninetales is happy to help us a little bit out of there. I mean, if we go chasing after these guys, Ninetales can follow as well. Everyone's being a little careful, not wanting to get oversteer. I think it might be too late for me here, uh, unless... I got no nothing, no slipstream. Although Liam and Gliska have tangled, they've tangled, they've got Chris, they've got me. It's everybody's crashed. It's everybody's crashed, and Nine Tails has escaped the best. <laughs> I didn't know what way that crash was going. <laughs> Everything goes wrong. Oh dear. I thought that crash was going outways. Outways was going left, and kind of outside of the course. I thought it was going up that side of the circuit, and it didn't. It just sort of bounced, come, came back down in front of me, and I couldn't avoid it. I get fastest lap. I am the best with the Corsa. I don't think that's something to be proud of, but we got fastest lap. Nine tails won. <laughs> it was pretty much a lucky dip. Who makes it through that crash will win, unfortunately. I think that was a front of car got connected on rear of car and both couldn't steer and avoid the wall. Uh, well, 
That is certainly something. So, for our second race, we move from a Corsa to another, well, an SUV thing. I was going to say another one, another one added into the game, the Reb Rebler, Rebella, I don't know. It's just a big SUV thing. Theoretically, it might make for some fun racing, at least. But, there we go. <laughs> That's what we're hoping for. Hopefully, we can have a cleaner run to the finish. Slightly less lucky dip who gets through the mess first. Although, I don't know about that. We're going to go three wide on the exit. It already feels considerably more stable than the Corsa. I will give it that. A uh, bit understeery, but it just definitely feels a lot more stable than the Corsa. Oh, I'm not even going to try that. That's asking for a massive crash. <laughs> the final lap, maybe? Even in the final lap, that's already, that's so that's so asking for trouble, pretty much. Uh, it's a long way around on the outside. You're always going to get hung out there. Now, the only plus point is I'll get a good run on the exit. However, there are almost too many cars around for that to be a truly viable strategy on lap one. We keep our position. Uh, we move up to second now with a slightly better exit. Oh, Okay, I'm actually, weirdly, as uninspired as I was by the fact that it's just another generic SUV thing. Driving-wise isn't bad, and it does seem like it might not be the worst to deal with contact either uh, between the vehicles. We're going to have a mega run towards turn one. It's going to be three wide again. This is a fairly wide circuit. It's fairly... So if anyone in places, oh, that was a front and rear quarters caught and no one steering, thankfully. Only a minor loss of time. Pega got in a little bit more trouble through the next corner, although we'll get going. This is a huge chunk of cars. Uh, you can't, we can probably get away with actually throwing these across that inside curb a little bit more uh, than we did with the Corsair. Jeez, we very nearly murdered Chris there. Uh, Chris wouldn't have probably have known the speed that we were taking down there. And if he had, probably wouldn't have moved out quite as viciously. Because that could have well been a spin the car on the nose of ours. Uh, we've had no speed out of that corner. And we're going to get stuck a little bit here. It's three and four wide. You've got to try and drift what, not, not too wide. Oh, uh, <laughs> so many cars. One little mistake and you get caught up in everything that's going on here. Uh, we're going to be busy again. That's a spinner on the outside. Oh, I got punted through that corner. How the hell I didn't end up murdering somebody in that, I don't know. Um, I, I have genuinely no idea how I didn't end up managing to murder somebody there. Uh, I'll take it, though. We're to the outside now. I'd much rather be on the outside than on the inside of this corner at some in some ways. Nine Tails is up on two wheels. Yeah, so these are pretty good at shaking off the contact. You can still get spun. We talk this and get, get turned. Um, if the contact's, you know, too severe. But the little bumps don't cause the GTA physics freakouts that we have seen from some cars. I mean, I'd say that's not so surprising, bigger, heavier SUV and everything, but you never know with the physics on this game. Um, so I'm glad about that. We're having some pretty ridiculous racing. We've been three wide for about every corner on this circuit at the moment. Oh, no, but I want to go to the wall. Don't, don't make me visit the wall. It's not fun over there. We've visited a couple of times already. I don't want to go again. No, no, I really don't want to be on the outside here. A uh, <laughs> little bit more space would be nice. Four wide to turn one. Blakey might get that one stopped in time just. It's three wide in the mid pack. I don't really want to be involved in the f no, five wide. Guys, it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Uh, <laughs> There comes a time when five cars doesn't go, and that was one of them. I don't act, whoever was trying to go up the inside, it wasn't a clever idea. I can't even really back out of that. If I back out of it, you get run over from behind. Oh, God. <laughs> Some wiggling through there. Liam, I mean, Liam came off worse at the end of all of that. Uh, we're going to lose out to some cars oh, on the inside. Somehow... Mess went on, and it looked like it almost pinged off my car without ever affecting me. I don't quite know how that works, but there we go. A uh, little bit more space between cars would probably be good. As I said, I said many times before, oh, Ewan gets into massive trouble clipping that inside thing. Uh, a two, three car battle for the lead? That's fine. That's, that's all good. That's safe. Seven car battle for the lead? That's dangerous. Twelve car battle for the lead, and it's going to end in tears. Almost guarantee on this one, especially when we've not got the best server, apparently, session at the moment anyway. Oh, that was a little clip on the wall. I'm in the middle of a three wide again. I don't really want to be in the middle of a three wide. I think Scott is going to eventually yield, realising that the outside of that three wide is asking for trouble. Uh, two wide down here, as we've seen. It can get You can get away with it. Oh, it's just not ideal. I got that wrong. I'm trying to keep out of the way of everybody. Uh, I don't think I really did a particularly good job. Yeah, I was just, just, just a tiny bit too brave. 
trying to catch up to the leaders. How long have we got? What lap are we on? Five out of seven. I mean, as much as I hate to admit it, these are kind of quite fun to race. They're certainly easier to push harder than the courses. That is for sure. They are easier to push harder than the courses. They're a little, you're less likely to make mistakes with these. Um, yeah, I kind of... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. <laughs> I slightly misjudged my speed, and I was thinking we were going to slot back in behind and try and get the slipstream and just end up then clipping the back of the car. Oh, they're four wide for the lead. Uh, wanted to duck underneath, couldn't in the end. That's fine. It's two by two up ahead. Now, that's good. As long as they fight each other, we are not out of this yet. A little bit of luck and a little bit of slipstream, to be fair. Neither are Gliska and Pega. Maybe that whole group, uh, whole group might struggle to catch. Unless we do that. Ah. Just carrying too much bloody speed through there. And it's slightly my bad on that one. Uh, we are both running a little bit wide. Uh, it's such a difficult corner to get right. Ah. We are in a bit of bit, a bit of bother now through here. Gliska's going to slide on the exit. The problem is he's going to get me back past, but not enough for anybody to really make the most of the slipstream. We're going to have to slow down here, try and get the exit. Will we be close enough to do anything about this lead group? That is the question. I don't want to be on the outside over this crest. It's really easy. The car's just naturally, with the way that crest is, the car's just naturally understeer wide, and that causes so much trouble around that section. Uh, we actually kind of get helped around the outside of... I think it's Foxy now is actually along, alongside, looks like it. Uh, we have caught back up to this lead group, but it is going to be about eight cars for the lead, which generally means something it's going to have to give. Uh, oh, oh no. No one wants to yield now. <laughs> Not on this lap. No one wants to yield through there. We've made it three wide. That is the first time I think we've made it safely three wide, and we get... Uh, a little bit of assistance through the hairpin. We get out the other side uh, in fifth. Can I do anything about these cars ahead? It's looking unlikely. It's looking like we're going to be too far back for that big slipstream pull, especially, although, I say especially with Scotty to the inside. However, we have got a good run here. We've got a very, very good run. If we can get the car back across, it's not going to be enough. They've all got runs on one another. It'll be fifth. Scotty, I had saw had a spin, didn't see what caused it. Yeah, they got too much of a run. It's a little too bumpy and a little too difficult to get speed out of that final corner for a big draft towards the finish line. Uh, Liam gets fastest lap down in 12th place, having been running around on his own, I would presume, at the latter stages of that one. They're kind of good cars. It's a very fun track, and I thank uh, Brazen very much for making this one. Good track for racing. Sketchy, or say sketchy, difficult to overtake on uh, in places. I kind of like the car in a weird sort of a way. It's kind, it's kind of fun to race, and I don't, don't like the car, but it is kind of fun to race. The course is a crazy addition. I never would, never would have expected to see that, um, but kind of glad, I guess. It's interesting to have. But uh, <laughs> there you go. Well done, Foxy, for taking victory in in that one. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. And until next time, a uh, goodbye.